family, the hardest people to cut off. Maybe because blood is thicker than water. Or is it love? Moments like this is where we share and care for each other. This is my family. And today we're celebrating a victory. And we just the perfect family. Well, why don't I welcome you to my family and tell me if I should turn the page or close the book. My father, an accomplished preacher, the man of God, he runs a church with many followers, but just as he's done preaching water at the altar, he dines in wine. My mother, a true Christian, a good woman, according to those in the church, she has this perfect smile like a fixed portrait. But nothing beneath that smile. She laughs through her teeth and her eyes is cold as ice. All she cares about is her cocaine business. She's aware of my father's infidelity, but as long as the money and good life comes her way, she stays put. Jennifer, my dad's little princess. She enjoys the finer things in life and has a thing for bad boys. And of all the people, she chose to date my mom's business partner, cockhead womanizing, abusive, idiot son. See the bruises on her neck? He did that. Choked her. Nearly killing her. And the weirdest part of all this is that she likes it. Do my parents know? Oh, they more than know. In fact, they encourage her because she has to protect the family business. Nothing is more important than keeping their associates happy. Because as long as they're happy, money keeps coming. And nothing stands in their way, not even their daughter's safety. I'm the black sheep because I bring nothing to the table. I have chosen a different path. I choose to live by choice, not by chance. To be motivated, not manipulated. To be useful, not used. To make changes, not excuses. To excel, not compete. To choose self-esteem, not self-pity. To choose to listen to my inner voice. I have already said too much. I want my secrets back. 